Tim Weiss, you're the co-author of a report entitled Greening the Grid, Powering Alberta's Future with Renewable Energy. What did you learn about renewable energy in Alberta? Well, the one thing that we definitely learned about renewables in Alberta was that there's a huge opportunity and there's uh, all sorts of resources and all sorts of technology that we can be tapping into. And this house is, is a great example of that at a, at a very small scale. But this, this is the sorts of thing, this is the net, net zero home in Riverdale, Edmonton, which is a home that's built basically to use renewable power and, and harvest the local resources that actually produces more energy than it consumes. And th this is sort of an example of what, what can be done at, at an individual scale. What, what, what we were looking at for our report was what can be done at, at a provincial scale with large uh, utility scale to be really cleaning up the electricity system in, a, in the province. And so what did you learn? How much potential is there in Alberta? Well, what, what we found in doing our research was that there's an overwhelming potential that we're simply not tapping into. And, and why that's really important in Alberta is that Alberta actually has the dirtiest system, uh, the dirtiest electricity system in all of the country. It's Alberta is one of the few jurisdictions in Canada when you plug your electricity uh, socket, when you plug into your electricity socket, there's coal that's being burnt at the other end to generate that electricity. And, and in an era of climate change, in an era of... Uh, really needing to, to, to be much more concerned about the environment and what we're putting into the environment, there's a huge impetus to clean that up and Alberta simply can't be the dirtiest system uh, in, in the world anymore. So how much potential is there for renewables to be part of the Alberta electricity supply? The current system in Alberta is based about 70% on coal. So the majority of electricity uh, that's generated in Alberta is coming from coal. And what we found in our research was that we could be, we could, within about a 20 year span, based on the current technology, what other countries have already done, and what's really uh, feasible in terms of integrating into the existing grid, we could be phasing out, uh, we could be changing our system from 70% coal to about 70% clean power in the next 20 years. So we can go to 70% renewable and clean energy within 20 years. Within about 20 years, Alberta could go from being one of, the, from being the dirtiest system in Canada to being one of the cleanest systems in Canada within 20 years, if we put our minds to it. So, Tim, how much of our uh, electricity supply in Alberta is renewable today? So today, we're starting from a very small percentage of electricity in Alberta that's renewable. Right now, wind power, uh, even though Alberta was one of the early adopters of wind power, it only makes up about two percent of the electricity supply in the in the province. There is some hydro and there's also some biomass systems, but really it's, it's a very small percentage and the electricity system is still dominated by about 70% coal. So Tim, what are some of the benefits of moving towards renewable energy in Alberta? Well, what's exciting about renewable energy is, is, is it really has changed a whole lot in the last five to ten years and it really has become, renewable energy has actually become the largest source of investment in power over in, in the entire world. In 2008 it overtook investment in coal and natural gas and nuclear combined. So renewable energy really is where the future of, of investment, where the future of technology development is going and it's it's high time that Alberta got on board and, and really became a leader in developing this technology. It's there's, there's a huge amount, not only is it cleaning up the environment, but there's a huge opportunity to reindustrialize and create a clean new economy. Alberta seems to be looking at nuclear power right now. Why not to use nuclear power to do that instead? So well, the reason we didn't consider nuclear power in our in our report, there's a couple of reasons. And one, obviously, nuclear is is contentious, and it does. And one of the one of the problems with it being a contentious technology is that it takes a long time to implement. We really have a short period of time to clean up our electricity system if we want to get ahead of, uh, if we want to be tackling climate change in the time periods we're talking about. And so one of the great things about renewable power is you can put it in the ground very very quickly. Uh, and so you can have, for example, a wind turbine or wind project could be in the ground about two to three years after you initiate that project. Whereas a nuclear power plant, you'd be lucky to get it in the ground 10 to 15, sometimes 20 years uh, from when you initiated that project. And we, we simply don't have that time to be cleaning up the electricity system. So that's one of the reasons we really focused on renewables is because we can get them into the ground, we know they work, and we know we can be deploying them almost immediately. So Tim, are there any uh, downsides to renewable energy? Well, when, when we're developing renewable technologies, particularly at a at a provincial or a national scale, there are going to be impacts. We're not talking, we are talking about industrial development and we're talking about very large machines, particularly wind energy, where there is visual impacts. You are going to see these machines, but I think we have to weigh that against other the other options. And we are, we are comparing these technologies versus uh, very uh, environmentally intensive technologies, like, like coal, for example, where you've got huge amounts of uh, carbon dioxide pollution, mercury pollution, acid rain precursors that are that are being emitted for every every 
electron that's generated out of a coal power plant has this pollution associated with it. And so these are the kinds of choices we need to be making. We need to be weighing these, these options against one another. And, and, and so when we did our research, we basically, we, we were trying to choose technology that has the, a lower relative impact. It's not to say there's no impact, but uh, a much, much lower relative impact. So Tim, it sounds like renewable energy has the potential to uh, help clean up Alberta's electricity supply, but what other benefits are there from uh, developing renewable energy? So obviously the environmental impacts are, or the, the reduction of environmental impacts really are the biggest benefit of renewables and that's why uh, really people are excited about investing in renewables, but at the same time it's created a whole new industry and I mean, there's, there's several countries that you can look to as an example, Denmark or Germany for example, which have which have really re-industrialized around a whole new a whole new enterprise. And Germany is, is, a, is a classic example where they have almost a quarter million people working in the renewable energy industry already. And the Ontario has recently passed the Green Energy Act. They're expecting about 50,000 jobs in Ontario to be uh, created, at developing these new technologies, implementing these new technologies, and, really, and getting them into the ground. And that goes from wind turbine development to solar panel development to insulating, indi ins insulating individuals' homes. And so looking at efficiency is also as important as looking at renewables when we're talking about uh, not only reducing our impacts, but creating new jobs. So Tim, it sounds like renewable energy has a lot of potential to clean up the electricity supply in Alberta. Uh, what do we need to do to get moving on this? Not only does renewable energy have a whole lot of potential, but it actually has a lot of support. We've seen poll after poll throughout Canada and through, in Alberta have found incredibly high levels of support for renewables and now really is the time to get on board and just to really start taking it seriously because the technology we know is ready and now is the time to be do doing this sort of thing and there's things that individuals can be doing in Alberta you have the option to, to choose where your electricity comes from so you have the option to choose which utility has the cleanest portfolio and, and decide to do that as an individual or as a company but anyway we've seen renewables really take off globally it's ha there has been significant government leadership renewables. and the one thing that they can be doing right off the bat is to develop a renewable energy task force which looks at how we could be integrating high levels of renewables into Alberta's electricity system and how we could be doing that as quickly as possible. So are you optimistic, Tim? Yeah, I'm more optimistic now than I've ever been. In the last, really in the last one to two years, so much has changed in the renewable energy industry. What, what was true five years ago isn't true today. We, we've really learned, uh, we're really seeing other countries integrate very high levels of renewables, deploy them at incredibly fast rates. Once a country or a jurisdiction decides this is what they want to do, we know it's doable, we know it's possible. Uh, and that's, that is true now more than ever. And so it really is an exciting time and it's, and it's time for Alberta to get on board and be a leader. Tim, thanks very much. Thank you. Mm -hmm.